Want more likes on your Facebook business page? Cool, who doesn't? But it's really important in 2019 that you realize what place page likes actually have in your business, what role they play, and then also the right way and the wrong way to get Facebook page likes. If you've seen Facebook marketers that are coming out and they're like, hey, you can get penny likes for your Facebook page, you need to run away. <laughs> this isn't a scam, but it's a very dangerous thing to do that can really ruin the integrity of your account and ruin your ability to market with your Facebook page or with Facebook ads. And so in this video, I'm going to break down kind of what that scam is. And in, then I'm going to give you an alternative, an alternative to actually get likes for free for your page, but actual high quality likes that are going to help your page engagement and your Facebook ad performance. Howdy and welcome to the Laptop Empire Show. I'm your host, Mike Yonda, co-founder of LaptopEmpires.com. And today we're talking about Facebook ads and particularly we're talking about page likes, how to grow your business page and get more likes or what used to be called fans. And we're gonna go through a couple of things here. First, I'm gonna talk to you about why it's important and what's changed with your Facebook page because a lot of people think Facebook pages are dead but that's not 100% the case. Then I'm gonna walk you through the old way that we used to get page likes using Facebook ads, a really grave error that you can make following what some of the gurus say, and then I'm gonna show you an alternative that can get you really high quality, engaged fans of your page and it costs you nothing. It's just a little hack that we learned that's inside of the Facebook ads platform that you can then go to your page. And even if you don't run Facebook ads, but you have a Facebook business page, you can still use this strategy. So make sure that you pay attention to today's episode. And while we're at it, don't forget to subscribe. That way you never miss an episode of the Laptop Empires podcast. So let's dive into it. Why are page likes so important? So as you may already know, Facebook has changed the algorithm many times and Facebook pages have pretty much reached their death because there's so few people that are actually seeing your content when you post on your Facebook page. Back in the day, you wanted to get as many Facebook fans on your business page as humanly possible because every single thing that you posted on your page was going to be seen by the people that liked your page. And then Facebook started pulling that back over time to where now only about two to three percent of your fans, the people that like your page are actually going to see your content you post. And it kind of sucks because yes, you have to pay to play, but it is an advertising platform. That's really what Facebook is. And if you're running Facebook ads, this is actually a good thing because it's how they keep the cost reasonable. It's why Facebook ads are such an undervalued opportunity for businesses, you know, because it's so much cheaper than a lot of the other advertising platforms out there. If you could still reach people in that way on Facebook pages, if the people that weren't willing to invest in Facebook ads could just post freely and reach all of their fans your ads, you who's smart and is paying to play would have much more expensive results because there's a limited amount of real estate in the newsfeed. So getting these fans, it might seem like, okay, getting page likes doesn't matter anymore, but there's a couple of reasons that it does matter. One, the better your engagement, the more likes you have, it's a social proof thing. When people look up your business and they go to your fan page, they're going to be like, wow, a lot of people like this person. A lot of people like this page. I should too. They know what they're talking about. The other thing that you got to keep in mind is that your ability to reach people, the more likes you have, the more reach you're going to have with your posts, right? That two to 3%. And so for every hundred people that you get to like your page, you're reaching a few more eyeballs. And at the end of the day, the more eyeballs you can reach, the better. The other thing to keep in mind is that your page engagement has a direct impact on your Facebook ads. If you have an active page, if you have good engagement and you have a good page ranking, your ads are going to perform better. You're going to be able to reach more people for the same dollar, which is going to get you cheaper results. It's going to make it more affordable for you. So there's a lot of important things here, but you've got to be careful because there are right ways and wrong ways to use Facebook ads to grow your page. 
Let's talk about the old way to grow your Facebook page likes. What you would do is you would actually go into Ads Manager, like you can see right here on the screen. You would choose an engagement campaign and then you would select page likes. And now what you're doing is you're telling Facebook, I'm running this ad. I want you to optimize for the people that are going to like my page. And you would target the people that you wanted to target. People had the relevant interests or that were a lookalike audience or a custom audience or whatever kind of audience that you want to target. And you would hit them with an ad that was basically like, want more of this content? Like my page. Or maybe you have like a food blog and it's like, do you love healthy, delicious recipes that you can make in five to 10 minutes? Then like my page to get more, you know, more of these recipes delivered to you every week. And you would have some sort of ad with a call to action to like the page. That's the old way to do it. And you can still do that today. But what happens is it is expensive. And since the value of the page like has dropped, since you're not going to be able to reach all of those people anyway, and it's going to cost you over a dollar probably, maybe even more to get a single page like doing the old way, unless you just happen to get a really amazing ad. Since it's going to be so much more expensive, your ad budget is better used doing other things, driving traffic to your best content, growing your email list, or promoting real content you know, actual content, you know, real posts on Facebook, real videos, things like that. You're going to get more bang for your buck using the budget that way. So page likes have for the most part just kind of fallen out of our toolkit and these page like campaigns aren't something we're using as much anymore. Now, you may still want to do it and that's where this kind of like scam comes in. And it's not really a scam, but it's marketers that are taking people that don't know any better and saying, hey, I can still get you page likes for as little as a penny using this strategy. But what happens is it totally destroys your account's integrity. And so if you look at the screen right now, you can see it. It's actually going into Facebook Ads Manager, creating your like campaign, and then removing your targeting, removing the United States targeting and targeting worldwide. When you target worldwide, you're going to reach all of these other countries and you're going to get very cheap clicks. But you're going to get a lot of bots. You're going to get click farms. You're going to get all of these things or just people that aren't a good fit for, you know, what you're doing, for what you're promoting, what your business is about. And so sure, you're getting free page likes and you're going to get the social proof. You can blow it up. But the expense is, is that if you want to do any kind of engagement, page engagement retargeting, Facebook fan retargeting, um, or just anything related to the audiences you're building on your page, you've ruined those audiences, right? All the powerful tools that we use in Facebook are about taking the people that have engaged with your stuff, engaged with your content, liked your content, or finding cold audiences that don't know you yet, but are very much like the people that are already your fans. And so if you pollute the pool of fans that you have with people that aren't your target audience, that are from a foreign country that might not even be real people, you've ruined your ability to use these powerful audiences. So what do you do instead? You can actually take the posts that you're already promoting on your business page or the ads that you're already running and you can take people that engage with those posts and invite them to become fans of your page. And this is very simple. If you look at your screen now, right now, you can see me walking you through it. And what you're going to do is you're going to find a great campaign like this one. I'm taking one of the uh, campaigns of my business partner, Bobby Hoyt, who's the co-founder of Laptop Empires. He has this campaign running for his other business where he's driving traffic to a popular web site for a nickel per click. And this is just running around the clock. It's been running for years. There's tons of social proof on it. And so you're able to select a campaign like that. You're able to go um, into the ad and preview the ad. And when you get to that ad preview, you can actually pull it up by saying, I want to see the ad in the comments. And now it will actually pull up the post itself. You can comment on it. You can do lots of things. But what we want to do is click all of the people that have some sort of reaction, whether it's a heart or it's a like, or it's a laugh, or it's an angry face or crying face or whatever. You click on that and a little window is going to pop up on your screen and you can see the people's names and you can click invite. And what this is doing is completely for free, inviting these people to like your page. 
What's great about this is that one, it costs nothing, but for another, these people have already positively engaged with your ad. You're not going to invite the angry faces to like your page, but the people that have the hearts and the likes, you're going to invite those people to like your page. Not all of them are going to do it, but you can go through and do this every day or have a VA do it or whatever and invite these people to like your page and your page fans will continue to grow. But these are high quality page fans because they're people you've already reached that love your content, that engaged with it and are likely, you know, following you already. And so when you do this, you're bringing new people into the world. You're expanding the reach. You're expanding your page fans, more engagement, more social proof, and you're creating a great audience that you can then, you know, pull on later without ruining it with these cheap clicks from foreign countries that I was talking about earlier. So very simple strategy, but it's a great way to still utilize your page. And I showed you how to do this, you know, by going and finding the post with Facebook ads, but you can actually do this same thing by just going to your post that your regular posts you put on your page, clicking on any of them, clicking on the reactions and inviting those people. So you can do this 100% organic as well. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching the Laptop Empire show. Be sure to subscribe. That way you never miss an episode and check back with us because we have new episodes published every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, teaching you everything you need to know about growing an online business. If you want to learn more about what we talked about today or Facebook ads in general, please check in the description. I've put together a couple resources for you. First, you can go and you can actually download a video tutorial where I walk you through on my screen a little bit more in depth how to use this page like strategy. You can access that, go through it, start using it yourself. You can also download our Facebook ads masterclass, which is a great introduction to ads manager and the types of campaigns that you can run to promote your content and grow your audience. And all that's completely free. So so be sure that you check it out in the description. And if you have any questions about Facebook ads, let me know in the comments. All right. I want to know what do you need help with? What are your reservations from using Facebook ads or what have you tried and, and wasn't working? That way I can create better videos for you showing you how to leverage paid traffic to grow your audience. See you next week. <laughs>